Hi everybody. Well, this is a Ream EcoSense uh, electric tankless water heater. And it's been installed for about three years. And I've been having some problems with it for the last two or three months where the water heater is putting out water way too hot. Um, the way I've been running this is I've had the incoming water temperature or water flow valve set about halfway and then I usually keep the temperature knob at medium. So then with my incoming water temperature, uh, right now it's coming in at 68 degrees. So this would usually give me about 100, maybe 104 degrees um, water outlet temperature. Um, but it's been much, much too hot. So I know with the incoming water temperature, it's going to try to raise the water temperature going out higher. So, you know, as the incoming water temperature rises, then the outgoing water temperature is also going to rise. So then I would have to lower the temperature knob to compensate for that. Um, but it's not able to do that anymore. The lower I turn it, it still doesn't drop the temperature. So, um, what we're going to do is we'll turn on the hot water and start running this and see what the temperatures are. Okay, so now the hot water's turned on. So I have it, the valve at halfway, the temperature control at medium. We have, you know, 68 degrees, so about 70 coming in. And the water temperature going out. It's actually kind of all over the place. I mean, you know, one or two degrees. Not bad. But when this thing was new, it would really hold the output temperature pretty rock solid. You know, it might, it might change by a half a degree here or there, but... What's it bouncing now? 100 and almost 115. Looks like down to 109. Back up to almost 115. Back down to 109. So it seems steady. It seems like it's it's doing it on purpose. It's pretty repetitive but it's definitely a lot more fluctuation than it used to. So, let's turn the temperature all the way up. That's as high as it goes now. Right? So it's definitely working. I mean, it's, you know, it's raising the temperature 60 degrees. That's a lot. So, the sucker's definitely putting out the heat. But the problem is I want to keep my water somewhere around 100 degrees for the shower. So let's turn this knob all the way down to low. I got it on the low setting. See what it drops down to. So even on low, it's still right around 110, which is too hot. You used to be able to get it to drop down much, much lower than this. Um, basically, the way this worked when it was new was, you know, whatever you set the temperature control knob to, that's about how much it would raise the water temperature. So if I had it set to medium, you'd get about a 40 degree rise. Which is about what it's at right now. Actually, a little bit higher. Turn the light back on. So let's drop this as low as it'll possibly go, all the way down. So you would think that the temperature would just rock, just drop right down like a rock.
but it looks like it's still trying to raise the temperature you know, by at least 40 degrees. So, I don't know if this is a defect in the unit that over time it's, uh, it's not able to keep the temperature low anymore. Uh, so maybe this, maybe this temperature sensor is not working right. Maybe the control board's not working. Maybe it's not getting the input from the temperature control knob. Uh, or maybe this machine, maybe this water heater just defaults to it, you know, it always wants to raise the temperature at least 40 degrees. But I'm sure that's not the case. Let's go back to low. Because like I said, if I, if I turn that knob down before, I could get this thing to put out water at 90 degrees, at 85 degrees, 92 degrees. And now the lowest I can get it is about 110, which is way too hot for my liking. So, Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching.